Hey, what's going on guys? Today, I wanted to take a look at eight mods that you can use to improve your overall quality of life in art. Let's jump right into it. First up, the awesome spyglass mod. This works just like your typical spyglass, except you will not only be able to see what level, but also which taming foods your dino prefers and the amount based on the specific taming settings. The biggest game-changing feature about this mod is unlike the OG Spyglass, the awesome Spyglass also allows you to see the stats as well as the levels. So you can make sure that that max level that you have your eye on is actually worth your time. Also, finding those dinos is now a whole lot easier since they're all highlighted. Lastly, my favorite part is the fact that this functions at the same time as you using other tools, which means that you can have it out all the time to see what you're dealing with. Auto Ingrams mod will help you unlock your Ingrams quicker. Instead of unlocking them item by item with Ingram points, this mod allows you to unlock the Ingrams row by row once you reach the corresponding level. As a solo, this will give you guys the opportunity to unlock every Ingram in the game. The Lethal's Reusable mod takes a few of the basic necessities in the game and makes them unbreakable and reusable. So early game, you'll have endless bolas for your taming and you'll have endless spears for fights with the beach dinos. And for later on in the game, once you've crafted up your grappling crossbow, you will always have an option for a quick escape. Not to mention with the reusable scuba tank, you can take as long as you want taming and exploring underwater. The tombstone mod works similar to the fjord hall, but instead of retrieving your items from a bag, you actually keep them in your inventory when you wake up. So whether you're trying to be cheeky, stealing some eggs, or going on a way too risky loot run, or if you're just having plain bad luck, you will never lose out on a single item of your inventory. The Explorer Note mod is a custom GPS that allows you to find any Explorer Note with ease. Actually guides you with a green or red GPS screen telling you whether or not you're closer or further away from the note. This will make planning Explorer Note runs less difficult, and if you're really committed to it, it will help you on your path to Mjolnir, making sure you find every note along the way. The Ultra Stacks mod is the ultimate quality of life mod. Everybody knows the feeling of filling up your inventory after harvesting just a single sheep or a single prime dino. This mod allows you to stack your items and your prime meat will spoil slower. Harvesting resources of any kind just got better as well because these stacks don't weigh as much. This allows you guys to, of course, carry more in your inventory than typical. I usually can carry about a stack and a half of wood. With this mod, I can carry around 1,200 pieces without even leveling up my weight. Now, my harvesting will be unstoppable. Awesome Teleporter mod allows you to craft teleporter pads with a teleporter remote. These items actually work together. You can place your teleporter pad wherever you'd like, and then you can use your teleporter remote to transfer you and your dinos back to the pad wherever you've placed it. The teleporter remote also allows you to get to the boss terminals with the press of a button. Lastly, this mod introduces dino trackers, which you can feed to your dinos. This will allow you to teleport your dino back to your teleporter pad remotely. This way, if you've left your dino in a sketchy situation, you can teleport it back to safety. Lastly, the Dino Storage V2 allows you to quickly and easily pick up and store your dinos. Instead of using a cryopod, you can use either a soul ball or the soul gun 
can pick up and store your dinos from a distance. And using soul balls avoids cryo sickness when you throw your dinos out. You can also use the paintball gun to pick up your item bags from a distance in case the surrounding area isn't safe. Lastly, this mod introduces the soul terminal, which stores your soul balls and it can actually help automate breeding and farming, which we'll have to get into in a different video. This mod is my favorite. Let me know in the comments below which mods you find the most useful, and I'll see you guys in the next one.